Why, hello everybody, how are you guys doing today? Please let me know in the comments below, it really helps. Hello everybody, got another project coming along, well, just starting it actually. As some of you know, I have a canoe, and I got a really good deal, middle of winter. Drove it home on top of my car with the, uh, got a, a Wrangler. So I had the soft top off, it was like 30 degrees outside, I had the canoe strapped down, freezing all the way out from Pewaukee, I live in Milwaukee, so it was a good half hour plus drive. I didn't want to take it on the freeway because it was my first time having a canoe on top of my car, so I'm freezing the whole trip here. But the canoe cost me all of 50 bucks. And so I bought that uh, last, not this previous winter, but the winter before that. And so I've, you know, taken it out numerous times, had a lot of fun with it. But it only has two seats on it. And typically three, you know, me and two siblings will go canoeing. So one of us don't get a seat. So first step up for today is to make a seat. And that'll be made out of this board right here. Um, it's not going to be much to the seat. I'll round, you know, the two edges on it. And then it's just a three foot board. And then I got to make some little clamps that I can clamp it into the canoe itself. Once I'm done with that, my second project, which will probably be like a part two to canoe upgrades or something like that is I have found that neither me nor my brother is very good at steering straight in a canoe. We'll, we'll try and we'll just we'll start going straight and then all of a sudden we'll turn and we'll smash into the bank. So we still have fun and all but it could really use some improvement. So what I'm thinking of doing is for my youngest brother, who usually tags along and doesn't do any paddling, I am going to make a rudder that will stick off the side of the canoe. Let's, uh... So here's sort of the, the cross section of where the rudder will be. It'll be right near the end of the canoe. Here's the seat, he'll sit there. And then the rudder will actually stick off to the side. And the reason behind that is there's like a one foot little support in the canoe itself to, uh, I guess, keep its shape. And so then for him to sit there and then have this rudder stick out all the way behind the canoe, I was like, yeah, it's just going to stick out too far. And I don't know if they would consider the rudder part of the vessel, but the canoe itself is like 15 and a half feet, 16 feet, and that's the longest you can have it without a license. So I figured sticking it off to the side makes it a little easier for him to hold on to the rudder. And then he can just rotate that back and forth. And then that's part of the reason why I'm making an extra seat is because usually someone who paddles will be here and then someone will be up near the front. Well, now I'll have a seat in the middle that someone can sit on when they paddle, and then he can just steer from the back. So, um, without further ado, let us cut this down to the three foot length that I need, and then start making some clamps to uh, stick it in the canoe. So, I'll cut you guys once I'm done with that. So I've got the seat it's cut out, three feet long, and I've marked on here a, I think it's an inch and a quarter, I've marked in two and a half inches or so on either side, and then I've marked in two inches from the edge, and this is where the bolt for my clamps are going to go, I've done that on both sides. Now my clamps 
are gonna look something sort of like that but the seat actually sits the the side of the canoe looks something like this and how the rest of the seats are all held in place is they stretch underneath it and then there's just a actual bolt that goes right through and all the way on down and then there's a nut in the top sides <coughs> a little you know a Phillips screw head so what I am going to do instead of drilling through the side of my canoe which would then render the seat you know slightly more permanent is I am going to stick the bolt over here and then the support is actually going to come up and then slide across the top and then come down like that so then the bolt will be exposed underneath there through there and then I'll put a wing nut on it and a washer <clears throat> and then the underside may actually be a it's either going to be a carriage bolt, which will actually go into the wood, so I don't have to worry about holding it on the underside when I tighten it, or it'll just be a regular uh, bolt, but then this part will all be threaded like that. And this way this will just slide underneath, we'll twist the clamps, tighten them down, and that'll lock the seat in place. But if I ever want to take the seat out, I can just loosen that up, loosen up the clamps and pull it right out and then I guess depending on how well I see it is and if I really like how it turns out I could then always just stick the uh, a bolt right through the side and keep it in place directly and then I would just have the couple of little holes that I would have to deal with but my next step now is to find the material for this clamp and uh, cut a couple of those out this portion right here is one inch unfortunately i didn't measure this size so i'm assuming that's around an inch as well inch inch and a quarter something like that max i would say inch and a half which is why i put this in at the two inches but this piece could actually be you know a relatively square piece like that I may actually just grab like a 2x4 and cut that. In fact, I think that's what I shall do. So, let me uh, find a 2x4, mark out some lines, and get cutting. So, while looking for a 2x4, I found, I don't know what this is, some hardwood, which I figured will work better. Um, so, I set up a clamp here to give me a 3 inch block, and I ripped through it and cut out all of these as you just saw. I then marked with the square here that the blade is 1 inch wide two and a quarter inches which will give me a is that two well whatever I marked it at it was supposed to be two and three quarter or two and a quarter slightly over that doesn't matter that much um oh, I'm pointing with a pencil so I then marked two inches in into the approximate center of the board you can see I have a little dot there and that's where I will drill in to put the bolt through it and then I just have to cut and I'll have to do this on the scroll saw and cut out on all of these once I drill that hole through and then these will sit let's uh, do the side with better lighting these will sit like that and clamp the seat onto the edge of the canoe and then I'll sand or maybe route, but probably sand the edges round and nice and smooth so that when you're sitting on it, you don't have to worry about hitting it. And uh, 
Those will be my clamps to hold the seat in place. The rudder that I will do after I've the seat will, will be very similar. They'll just be on the underside so the board runs across the top of the canoe instead of sitting underneath. So I guess without further ado, let me change out the blade for the uh, drill. And uh, I guess I should probably find the bolts that I'm going to use beforehand so I know what size hold the drill. So now it's, uh, let me go find some bolts and I'll be right back. So I found the bolts, I have drilled the holes, and the bolts fit in the holes, which is a good thing. Didn't have to go all the way through because I'm cutting off that portion of it anyways. I'm hoping I get enough leverage in here to, uh, to get some nice solid clamping action. I also didn't find any wing nuts which just means that when I stick it on, I'll need a pair of pliers to tighten them up real nice. But that's not a big deal. And let's uh, cut these pieces. Let's uh, cut these pieces out of here. All right, I've got one piece together, and here it is. Tightened it up. I'm assuming the edge of the canoe actually goes to about here for where it locks in place. But this is got some leverage there, but I mean there'll be two of them on either side. So that should hold really well um, because I don't have the wing nut. I'm actually putting the, the bolt on the top and then the nut on the bottom. There we go. With a washer on either side. And uh, so now all I got to do is, uh, well, I, I finished drilling all these holes on here as well. So... I'll take that apart, sand these all up real nice, and then uh, round the edge on here, and hopefully I will get the, uh, I'll actually be able to go canoeing with this before I post the video, so I'm doing this on Tuesday, which conveniently enough is actually Tuesday when you should be watching this assuming you watched it the day I posted it. Um, however, next Saturday is supposed to be like 55. And the manual for my car says the temperature is supposed to be above 50 to take the top off, which I need to do in order to get the canoe down to the river. So if it is actually 55 and the sun is shining on Saturday, I will take the canoe out then and I will go put in some footage from that and testing out the seat at the end of this video. If not, I won't show it then, and I'll end up doing it every video, reviewing my seat, and then the rudder that I should be making later on this week, which will be in next week's video. So, let me finish up sanding these up, and then I'll show you one more rundown of it all together, just not in the canoe more than likely, but possibly, depending on Saturday. So I'll see you guys in a bit.
So, I've basically got it all finished. I may end up doing a sealant or stain of some sort, but as of now I'm going to leave it as is. I've got the edges rounded so that it's going to be a little bit more comfortable to sit on. And, um, well, I think it looks pretty good. It should work. Um, I do need to get, for my bolts, I'm thinking I may elongate the holes in them just a little bit. And the reasoning behind that is right now there's very little play in the, uh, the bolt. That's a very tight hole. So all of these play comes from the bottom board. And I can't really compress this all that much. So depending on the how well it clamps, I may end up widening that up a bit so that this board can rotate on the bolt just a little bit that it can close up a little bit more. But I don't know if I'll need to end up doing that. So until I find out for sure, I'm not going to bother doing anything with that. And I'm going to say it's all done for now. Hopefully I can try it out on Saturday. And if I can, I will provide that video update at the end of this video so that you know how well it worked. If not, um, please comment below as to what you think about it. It would actually work the other way as well. I could pull these out and stick them so it would be on top of the, the wall, but the rest of the seats are all underneath, so that's why I made this one to go underneath. Again, next week's video should be the rudder that I'll be making. And I should be finishing that up actually later on this week, but you'll see it in the following week's video. Um, so comment below as to what you think. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So that, and share it as well if you liked it and you, you know, want to see me do more of these. Please share them right now. My videos are averaging less than half a dozen views the week that I post them. And then they basically don't go up from there. Got a couple that have more, um, I don't know if it's just, you know, better better names on them for searching or, you know, stuff that people are interested in. I've got one where I do a differential oil change on my Jeep and that one's got a bunch of views and then one with my bike that's got a bunch of views. But I think that's people who are interested in the cars and the bikes that are searching for them. So I uh, will see you guys all next week and I've got a rudder to start planning and building. So I'll catch you all then.